David Guyron once stated, classrooms don't need tech geeks that can teach. We need teaching geeks who can use tech. And as those teaching geeks, we know that we need to personalize learning. But what are the tools that can help us to do it in the digital classroom? This new personalization of learning requires a flexible learning environment and tools that serve multiple purposes. In this module, we will take a look at how using the appropriate integration of tools can help teachers support daily personalization of learning in a digital classroom. To create this new digital learning environment, we have to utilize the UDL principles of access, engage, and express to create what we call a digital learner backpack. This may seem complicated, but in actuality, it is quite simple. As teachers and students are preparing to learn about content, they take a look at the tools that they can use to access information, engage in learning, and express what they've learned. By doing this, the teacher and student have filled their learner backpack with digital tools that fit their specific need. The more time the backpack is utilized, the more students will develop the skills needed to be a self-driven, independent learner who has the tools necessary for college and career readiness. So what WCPS tools can we offer our students to add to their backpacks? Let's begin with tools that help them to access knowledge. Each learner is unique in how they best access content and process information into usable knowledge, so they should be able to choose from a variety of learning modes. Take a look at the apps above to see what apps are available and would best fit your students. Understanding that you don't have to be the expert in all of these apps, please take a look at the picture to the left and think about what two apps you could use in your classroom to help students access information. Let's discuss the apps that help students to engage in their learning. What motivates and inspires passion differs from person to person. Each learner knows best what strategies and tools will engage them in the content and inspire them to their own learning. Take a look at the apps above to see what apps are available and would be best to fit the needs of your students in your classroom. Now's your time to create a list of tools that you know you can use to help students engage in learning during instruction. Be sure to pick apps that you feel comfortable with in using. And finally, how can students express what they've learned? Each learner knows how they best express what they know and understand using actions such as writing, presenting, drawing, acting, building, and sharing. Take a look at the apps above to see what apps are available and best fit the needs of your students in your classroom. Select one of the apps that can be used to express learning and try it out for yourself. Remember, you do not have to be the expert on them all. When access, engage, and expression are combined, we create a learner book bag that is filled with many digital tools that can be used to support learning. Continually using tools from all pockets of the book bag helps to support formative assessment, which provides teachers an insight into what students are thinking before, during, and after lessons, and allows that teacher to make an instantaneous instructional change that benefits the learner. In closing, remember that flexible learning environments for all students to build their learner book bag 
is necessary and that formative assessment occurs throughout all stages of accessing, engaging, and expressing an information. Use that time and formative assessment to gain knowledge into what your students are thinking during learning.